Hello my fellow Retromaniacs and welcome to Let's Read the instruction booklet for The Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap. Yeah, I like uh, reading these um, old manuals, but uh, uh, what I usually do is uh, read it after playing the game, because most of the time the manual seems to uh, appear, uh, tends to uh, spoil a lot of the contents of the game, like uh, you would expect to see uh, all uh, items here revealed, so uh, you better not read the manual if, uh, if you don't want to get spoiled. <coughs> and it, Sometimes they even even have like uh, uh, like small guides and show the bosses. So yeah, I prefer reading the manual afterwards. And uh, and yeah, sometimes even the <coughs> excuse me, I have to drink. Yeah, I like I like usually the manuals contain nice graphics, you know, like uh, Donkey Kong Country has those uh, pre-rendered uh, graphics, and this seems to have like a very nice uh, like uh, storybook art style. So I like reading manuals. And guides just to see those uh, hand-drawn or pre-rendered uh, graphics and scenes. But yeah, even those, uh, even those, even the cover of the manual may spoil like what's going to happen in the game. So here we, here we already ha are spoiled by showing the hat and the picori picories so yeah but yes i like uh, reading the manuals because um, uh, sometimes you actually uh, sometimes you actually don't even get all of the controls like if the game doesn't hold your hand and doesn't have any like tutorial you have to find out yourself the controls. And I remember I usually only had uh, games bought like second hand, so they came without um, box and the manual, so only cartridge. So usually I would ha have to learn to play the game by myself. And some games were very like tricky. Like I remember Batman Forever for Super NES, like it had all these weird button combinations for guns and gadgets, but they never actually like give them in the in the in the game. You have to read the manual to find to learn them. So I actually played the game without ever knowing that you can use guns or, or items, and only like if you mashed all the buttons, you accidentally may have used one of those guns, but yeah, that was a game that really required you to have the manual, otherwise you couldn't even play it properly. But, you know, Zelda, the Minish Cap, this was very, like, telling, it, it taught you everything, so you don't actually need to read the manual to learn all, all the controls and gimmicks. So let's move on. So first we have these warning messages. Need help playing a game? Into the power line. 
Okay. Yeah, I remember that there was like also needed a helpline in Finland, at least in the 90s. But you know, I never did call, first of all. I was too shy. Second, secondly, it's very expensive, like, as you see. $1.5 per minute. You need permission to call. So, um, you know, here we have. Yeah, this was like 2000s while, while manuals were like shrinking in size. You would have like very long manuals in the 90s. But since this was like a already internet era, the the manuals were getting more and more, or, or less and less, uh, uh, full of content. So, and and finally, they most games just uh, stopped having manuals altogether because they ex expect that you can go to the website or or the game itself has some like manual a learning tutorial so you don't need any any paper or even PDF version of of the manual which is a same shame because I really like these manuals again partly because of they are like ni they are nice to look at especially needed manuals which are like full of uh, art styles new art style and dedication here here we have like cool background and Nice font. Obviously, obviously, if 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 the game company had a like small budget, they probably had like very simple manual, and maybe some screen screen crabs from the game, and that's it. But at least big companies made proper manuals and. And then if you go like uh, uh, like simulator genre or RPG or strategy games, they at least in the 90s, they would have like hundreds of pages and extra content besides the manual, like cheat sheets and uh, other kind of uh, other kinds of uh, extra booklets. And uh, especially, I think one of those flighting simulators they had the books were almost like thousand pages it's crazy no way i'm gonna read those manuals it would take 10 hours so let's read the legend of the picori long long ago evil spirits descended on the land of hyrule just when it seemed that the world was to be cast into the darkest of shadows the tiny picori appeared from the skies and bestowed on a courageous human a shining golden light and a single sword. This bravest of men used his wisdom and courage, his golden light and his sword to fight off the demons and restore peace to the world. The people were so grateful for the Picari's help that they held an annual celebration in their honor. The tradition of the Picari festival continued but over the generations, the Picari themselves passed into the legend. Uh, the legend of Picari, of the Picari, tells of a, a mystic doorway that opens just once every hundred years. When the door is open, the Picari can cross from their world into Hyrule. This year is that year in 100, and the festival is unusually grand. Hyrule Castle is hosting a tournament of sword, sword fighting six skill, recalling the great battles of legend. This year's champion is a man by the name of Vati. He has won the tournament with an almost magical ease, and all of Hyrule is a, a buzz with rumors about this shadowy figure. Who is this Vati? They ask. What has brought him to Hyrule? Okay, characters. Link. 
has come to the town, has come to save the Princess Zelda. Do, do, do. System of Down. The hero of the story. Hearing that he's heading to the Pikachu Festival with Princess Zelda, his grandfather sends him an, an errand to deliver to Hyrule Castle the sword that will be presented to the champion of the tournament. Ezlo, a mysterious creature that Link meets during his adventure. He chatters away noisily at Link. He can be quite fussy, but he does seem to know what he's talking about. Princess Zelda, the princess of Hyrule and a longtime friend of Link. She, she stops in, in at Link's house asking if he can join her at the annual Picker Festival. Okay, how did they become become friends? Because Link, Link is just a peasant. Maybe it's, uh, his grandfather is like trusted blacksmith of the king. Vati, the champion of this year's sword fighting tournament. Nobody knows where he came from and nobody knows who he is. Yeah, I think Vati appears uh, in later games like... Um, maybe like Skyward's... Skyward Sword, or I'm not quite sure. But uh, it seems to be like a elf. Okay, controls. L button. Few skin stones. Yeah, this was <laughs> when I started, when I continued playing this. I had forgotten how to few skin stones. So it took a while. When you see someone or something with a thought bubble, bubble over his head, press the L button to try to fuse kinstone pieces with him. Switch subscreen. Control pad. Move. Jump down. Move cursor. Select talk to Islo. If you get stuck, See if es es Eslo has any advice to guide you. Yeah, usually he wouldn't. R button, perform action. Open chest, speak, roll, or do anything else on the top right corner of the screen. Do 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 do. A button, use item. B button, use item. Speak. Start sub screen. Press start select and A and B but button simultaneously to reset the game. Okay. Didn't know about that. Maybe it's like um, for every game. Mm, getting started. Yeah, choose a file. Yeah, I like this. These like art style pieces here. Link is like, ooh, nice halitosis. Okay, game screen and sub screens. Art meter. I never found uh, like fairy that is supposed to like double your heart or like make them outlined so you get like double life i'm 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 expecting that this this game had that feature but i didn't find the fairy action button items rupees scan sub screen Yeah, this uh, still don't realize. Still, still don't understand why Nintendo would uh, not use like a Super NES con control scheme for Ga Game Boy Advance and had like a NES style two button controller. 
because you know this SNES the SNES had four buttons, face buttons, and it would have been much easier, especially for some games, to have more buttons. But you know, at, at least there was a L and R, so it wasn't like total copy of NES. But yeah, I don't, I don't understand the rationale because you know they they would like port many of the Super NES games for Game Boy Advance, and they had to make some compromises because it was missing two buttons. So just just weird decision making by by Nintendo. So um, yeah, nothing interesting here. Collect an collection list. Tiger Scroll, Kingstone Pack. Yeah, Link's moves. Swim. Use the flippers to swim. Yeah, spoilers, spoilers. You get flippers only in the latter part of the game. Roll. I never actually really used the roll, even though I think it would have been useful. Maybe in the ice cave. Or ice temple, but whatever. Stay a while and listen. Speak. Lift, shrink, grow. Climb onto a portal and press the R button to have Eslo shrink, shrink, shrink you. Oh, it's Eslo who does this magic. Okay. Grab and drag. Actions requiring special items. Spoilers. Draw in. Gust jar. Press and hold the item button to draw air and items and monsters into the gust jar. Release the item button to shoot out the air or the objects you've drawn in. You actually uh, read read from the web that um, the one shop that has that gramophone opens when you get like uh, 100 or 50 uh, those shell items so yeah I didn't know how to get those items and the gramophone is like a sound test you can listen to the soundtrack of the game so that was nice bonus feature if I had only known how to unlock that. Jump rocks cape. Press the item button to jump across traps and dodge enemy attacks. Hold the item button to jump farther. Once you've learned the down downthrust sword technique, attack mid jump to attack from the air. Yeah, this is spoiling everything the game has. Dig mole mitts. There's some places where you cannot dig. Sometimes even clouds. Spoilers. I like this <laughs> mole mitt link. <laughs> it's low looking pretty exhausted. Illuminate flame lantern. This will illuminate dark areas and light br 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 brassiers in dungeon. What the hell is brass bra? Brassier, uh, weird word for me. Press the item button again to douse. I'm learning English here. Douse the lantern. I know that douse is like, uh, like lit off. Or like, 
put out, put out the fire, but douse, interesting word. Light procedure. It's, it's not like candle pra. Candelabra. Pegasus boots. Once you learn the sword technique, you'll be able to do dash attack while you run. Flip over. Cane of Paki. Yeah, I think Cane of Paki only appears in like 2D Zelda games like uh, Link to the Past and was it Link, Link, Link's Awakening as well? I'm not quite, I'm, I don't remember anymore. But for sure, it wasn't in Ocarina of Time or Wind Waker or Twilight Princess. I don't know if it has a uh, make appearance, appearance since the bolt flips whatever it hits. Yeah, and you can also use it uh, for boss fights. Items. S sword. Swo sword. So inter so we're difficult word, English word. So 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 sword. Sword. It has this W, but it's not, it's kind kind of like silent. It's not sword. My sword. 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 Cut through grass. Bow and arrows. This game didn't have uh, light arrows for some reason. But on the other hand, it didn't have cannon either, so you don't need Triforce power of light. Uh, shield. Some enemies can't be defeated without a shield. Reflect. Boomerang. Hidden enemy daisy. Him. He'll stop moving for a short period of time. Why? Why? Are you. Are you supposing my gender? Why are the enemies male? You can also use the boomerang to nab rupees and other items beyond your reach. Yeah, especially when you get the super boomerang or whatever it was called. Use our person to lift a bomb and throw it. Kingstone bag. Ocarina of wind. Looks like Ocarina of time, to be honest. Call up Zefa. And he be carried to any wind crest you found. Paddle. Yet the one thing I was really stuck in the game was the thing that you can store. And you have to store water on a bottle and then use it on a fireplace. I, I, that was very tricky. Well, obviously there was the dog who like hinted to put out the fire with water, but yeah, I didn't get, I didn't catch that because you know usually you would store only potions, especially especially in Link to the Past. I, I don't think you can store water from ri from rivers. Swift blades tips. There are tons of ways to use your items. Try experimenting around with them if you ever get stuck in your travels. Or also talk to everyone. Game over. I never got game over, but yeah. But yeah, this was very kind. Generous to with with game overs you can just say where you want and 
continue where you want. Although in dun dungeons you are put into the f first room. If you get stuck during the adventure, try seeing what happens when you put certain things in a bottle and carry them around with you. Yeah, there was the hint I was looking for. I wonder if they are even thinking about the fireplace puzzle because yeah that was that was one of the trickiest at least for me there were some tricky parts in I think in the first Picori dungeon but otherwise I, I, I didn't really get stuck in the game Heart meter. Drink a potion. Never actually use these potions. Hot containers. <laughs> I like that fairy. Why? Why does it have? Why does it have like diapers? Child f fairy. Oh, this is. Cute. Cute art here. Kinstone pieces. As you travel through Hyrule, you will find many kinstone pieces. Mysterious items said to bring happiness. Two kinstone pieces can sometimes be fused together to make a single, complete kinstone. This is called kinstone fusion. People say that by fusing kinstone pieces together, strange and wonderful things can happen. Yeah, one day if I had so many kinstone pieces left, so I think in order to do like 100% run, well, you have really have to try to find every character, fuse them. Maybe maybe some of the kingstone pieces are like a extra that never need to be fused. Where will I find kingstone pieces? Kingstone pieces are scattered all over the world. There are lots of different ways to get your hands on them. Cutting up grass, receiving them from other people, finding them in treasure chests. Try your hand at kingstone fusion. When you see a thought bubble, bubble over someone or something, you can try to fuse kingstones. Exactly what is not always clear. Check your map for a clue about where something might have happened. Somewhere a bin stalk grew. Find it on your map. Where does it lead? You're walking on clouds. Spoilers. It's not just people who can fuse kinstone. Check carefully everything you go. Yeah, those weird cracks in the wall. Dungeons and dungeon maps. Dungeon items. Dungeon map compass and pick key. Do -do -do -do. Pick key. The dungeons become more difficult as the adventure goes on. Not really. I, I think the wind temple was like the easiest one. Consult your dungeon map when you get stuck. It's only common sense. Figurines. Yeah, these shells. I really I really didn't want to bother collecting them, you know. They are optional. Somewhere in the town of Hyrule you will find Karlov making his collectible figurines. You can win these beautiful trinkets by playing in Karlov's lottery. Can you collect all of them? Mysterious shells. Yeah, I, I always had like 90, 999 of them, of them. To play the Karlov's lottery, you will need mysterious shells. You need only one mysterious shell to play the lottery, but as you get more figurines, your chances of getting new ones increase if you use more mysterious shells. You can see how many mysterious shells you have on the quest status subscreen. 
the figurines you've collected will be put on display in the figurine cabinet in Karlov's shop. Stand in front of the cabinet and press the R button to view your collection. Sword techniques. As you turn it through Hyrule, you will run across a handful of swordsmen. Brother, brothers sworn to teach you young adventurers their fighting techniques. Once you've mastered their sword techniques, you can review them by reading the Tiger Scrolls from the quest status subscreen. I think I didn't get them all. They're like some up, upgraded sword techniques, which I, which maybe you need some Kinstone fusion to unlock. Dash attack, spin attack. What the hell? Is that it? Looks like uh, it's missing pages. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess that's that's that. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.